now listen you guys it looks like miss betty might actually have struck a deal with youtube you guys and we're going to be talking about that uh, we're also going to be talking about of course lottery feature responding to stealing allegations and uh, i was surprised that she can actually be graceful because she really did try to be a little bit uh, you know graceful and chilled in a response and i was just like okay where was this energy when you did not um you know understand each other with Nicki minaj okay and uh, i'm I'm going to be breaking down what led to her going on live and trying to clear her name and i'm also going to be talking about this mask family blue face and the mother still being cringy and i'm also going to be talking about lil kim's halftime performance at a basketball game these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i'm doing amazing please do sign in with where you are if you're coming if you're watching from whatever town whatever city please just put that city and bub in front and tell me where you're signing in from now without further ado let us dive straight into today's team so first of all you guys we're going to talk about Nicki Minaj allegedly possibly striking a deal with YouTube in as far as Queen Radio is concerned. Now, for those of you who, who are not aware, AMP was shut down, which is the platform that was essentially hosting Nicki Minaj. So, yeah, she decided to basically go, go on YouTube Live yesterday after she had let people know that she will be going on YouTube. And she said that she's going to... she's trying out to see how this works and things like that and she also said to stay tuned for more in as far as being live on youtube is concerned and of course a lot of babs and um you know bab pages are speculating that you know that might actually be meaning that she might be going on youtube with her queen radio now personally how do i feel about this obviously we're gonna support whatever the platform is okay even if Nicki minaj wakes up and says that she's gonna be going on spaces there we will go okay if she wakes up today and says she's taking uh queen radio on instagram there we will go okay if she even says that she's taking queen radio to my space trust me we'll go there <laughs> Even even though my space really is not that platform anymore, I trust you and I promise you, Babs will go wherever she says she's taking that platform too, which is a good thing. So yeah, do hop into the comment section, you guys, and let me know what you think about this entire situation. Do you agree with these, um, you know, industry league pages that Nicki Minaj might actually be moving Hey Queen Radio on YouTube? And also let me know how you feel about that. I just feel like if that's going to be happening, I hope YouTube or whoever was behind her stats on YouTube YouTube is not going to be messing with the numbers anymore because for the longest of time people have speculated that well YouTube has been playing around with her numbers and um, possibly deflating them okay allegedly so I hope that if she indeed has struck a deal with YouTube they will treat her right this time okay that being said you guys speaking of twitter i just wanted to give a quick shout out uh to one of you guys that i have been seeing in the comment sections lately and uh you do not understand the excitement that i have when i bump into one of you on twitter i get so excited you guys i have been seeing the marcus mom uh a lot in the comment section she is a dedicated fan and i just bumped into her um you know today on twitter and i was like okay i'm gonna follow her and I'm also going to tell you to go follow her. I'm just going to insert a screenshot of, um, you know, of the picture um, to her Twitter account and, uh, you know, her Twitter account, of course. And um, just for the record, she didn't ask me to promote this. I just bumped into this and I felt like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. So that's why I'm just putting it, um, you know, in here. And if you're on Twitter and you're here, do go ahead and follow her. She is one dedicated fan, all right? Uh, so yeah, moving on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, lottery feature, you guys. Lottery t feature was out here basically addressing, uh, you know, the stealing rumors. So if you guys don't know, lately there has been a thing going on uh, where lottery was being accused from uh, of stealing from other guys and as well... Um, she was being accused of basically chucking a uh, Glorilla of a remix, okay? So now, you guys, there is a rapper who basically came online. Uh, her name 
was a Mary Blaze and I guess this happened a week ago but um, God the Scoop did post this and uh, you know for some reasons you guys these uh, you know celebrities like to say oh my goodness God the Scoop is obsessed oh my goodness but I promise you they really really stay lurking on her page okay uh, the Transformer did the same thing spiraled out of control got into it with God the Scoop got ate up with God the Scoop so really shout out to God the Scoop okay for always holding the fort down okay so yeah she posted this video from a week ago i'm telling you it's literally from a week ago um she posted it of um a rapper called a mary blaze from chicago was basically talking about um how melorex team took glorilla of the original remix to boom um and replaced her with lato because they were saying that lato has more streams and that uh, she also said lato stole part of her lyrics and didn't want any of the female rappers from the original song on the remix now do you see you guys this is what we keep talking about and we keep saying that these girls will normally shout out that oh my goodness i'm a girl's girl i'm a this i'm a this they do it uh when it's advantages for them just for you to look at them uh, to view them in a certain light know that it will be coming from deep down deep down from the heart that's one thing that i've observed uh, ob observed about everybody who claims to be a girl's girl loud out here on uh, you know on the internet so apparently um you know this is what happened and for someone who claims to be a girl's girl i'm just like you know what i'm over it okay um so it seems like the lo lottery ticket basically caught wind of this and then decided to go on live and was like oh my goodness i haven't heard of you before i mean disrespectfully oh my goodness this um you know glorilla was not meant to be on the song i love glorilla she's on one of my songs and stuff like that and uh, Glorilla also being the sloth that she is, um, she decided to basically hop into the comment section and say that, oh my goodness, I was never meant to be on that remix. And I'm like, of course you'd say that. We wouldn't expect you to come out here and say that you, really you got scraped off a song to give lottery ticket, um, you know, uh, basically space. I, I know I didn't expect her to come out and say that. So, of course, I, I expected her to come out and, you know, say face like she did. Okay? So, you guys, what surprised me with Lottery Ticket's response is there was no aggression. Um, maybe, at least, let's say there was no passive, there was no, like, active aggression. The aggression that was in there was a little bit passive. And I'm like, okay, so when it comes to Nicki Minaj, you have all the smoke and all the energy. But when it comes to other people like this, you have, a, like, a bit of grace, you know? And your aggression is passive it's not exactly loud and in your face and i'm just like okay i see because i guess in her mind she really thought that going against Nicki Minaj would give her that uh, transformer effect that maybe her career would take off if she you know would decide to basically go against Nicki Minaj but then again the friendship that she has with the, the transformer i guess now she's realizing that it was only beneficial for that time that they were coming at Nicki Minaj okay it's nothing that the friendship or the fake friendship that um you know the transformer has with Megan. With Megan, the Transformer knows that she she has something to benefit but with Lottery, there's really nothing to benefit, okay? And so now I guess she's beginning to understand that the Transformer is not her friend, okay? The only reason that the Transformer continued to basically pay attention to Megan and continued to basically fake a friendship with Megan the Stallion is because she stands to gain something. Like that time that Megan the Stallion's hype from, uh, you know, those entire court incidents, court incidents, um, um, you know, she stole the hype, you know, from Megan, you know, she could have had done like a comeback single, but they did that entire, you know, song together, it flopped, and it's about accusation, you guys, if we're gonna be honest, and I guess Lottery is now only finding that out now, but it's too late to apologize. <laughs> So yeah, do open to the comment section you guys and let me know what you think about that The next thing that I'm gonna be talking about you guys. I'm going to talk about Lil Kim So there is a video a footage that's that is circulating on the internet uh, Of Lil Kim basically dancing and performing at a basketball halftime show and uh, Yeah, people seem to be over Lil Kim dancing and doing all of that Because people feel like the further she does stuff like this the further she's diluting her legacy 
So I don't know you guys. Let me know what you think about that. I know that Lokim is a legend to a lot of you here in the comment section. So let me know what you think about that performance. Personally, I was happy with that performance, you guys, because at least she wasn't doing a one two steps, you know, with um her making a face look the way that, you know, it was looking in that do you remember the one two video that I'm talking about? Hopefully I'll be able to find that footage, okay? So yeah, let me know you guys what you think about that um, you know, in the comment section. The last thing that I'm gonna be talking about the smurf spam family yes blueface and um and his mom are out here still being weird so for those of you who do not know a uh, blueface's mom uh kalisa accidentally leaked um you know a picture of her behind okay she was taking a mirror selfie and her behind was out i'm talking about bay behind bay 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 behind okay and clad behind that's the behind that i'm talking about it seems like blueface was not feeling it uh because he went on the internet and started saying old lady behind and stuff like that and it seems like the mom was like not feeling it because when i tell you she ate him up i was just like listen having a mom who will literally drag you and eat you up like this must be an extreme support okay and uh, so the mom was like well now i said it was an accident but it looked better than the one you spent your life savings on I was wallowing when I'm telling you. Normally, I don't have time for Blueface and, um, you know, and his mama. But this one, I was like, wow. And there really is some truth to this. Because, listen, I don't know why Blueface would spend, um, you know, his life savings on a behind that looks like Jaden's behind. What is that, you guys? So, honestly speaking, I was like, wow, wow, wow. That is such a clip. 